What's the new hat? What's your new hat? This is my parasol. <laughs> this is my rhubarbasol. Rhubarbasol. I'm very rhubarb. Huh? It's your umbrubarb. Umbrubarb. <laughs> <laughs> it's my umbrubarb. Can't you tell? <laughs> rhubarb at Vanilla's Edge. Rhubarb is a perennial and it's really, really brilliant. Once you get it in here, it loves Somerset, it loves growing here. Once you've got it in and well mulched, you give it loads and loads of manure to start with and then it does like compost and nutrients. Um, it's a fantastic vegetable, so we decided to grow some here. And we've put it round the edge of the market garden. It's actually on a little raised up mound, which is, I have to admit, not ideal for rhubarb because it doesn't want to be, uh, it likes to be moist. It doesn't want to dry out too much. But the reason we did that is because we were digging a ditch round the market garden, which I'm now standing in. And um, it made sense to have a low maintenance perennial round the outside that would grow up um, and give a little bit extra shelter to the crops in the garden. Um, when we planted the rhubarb, the windbreak wasn't quite so big. So we, all the time we were thinking of how to give a little bit more shelter to the crops. So that's why it's here. Um, I just want to say a little bit as well about, um, I don't know if you can see in the shot, the very long grass and stuff um, on the bank next to me here. I actually want to take that down a little bit. Um, so that's something that's on my to-do list. Right, so when we first got rhubarb here, we bought a load of rhubarb um, and we planted it over there. And we also, a friend of ours was splitting his rhubarb, so we got lots of rhubarb from his plants, lots and lots actually, and all the rest of this really lush row was planted up with his plants. That was a few years ago now. The ones we bought in never ever gave us a good crop. I have no idea why, but these ones absolutely thrive. So for years I've been meaning to take these ones out and replace them, and this winter we did. So when we were thinning these, because they'd got really big, we just cut out chunks of the root with little buds on them, and we planted them out there. So those are a new bunch of plants, apart from I can see some of the old ones coming through that I need to cull. Um, and hopefully we'll wind up with a really big, really productive patch. We do have a second rhubarb patch and it's over in the perennial patch, which I think you've also seen in a different video. Um, that one, because the microclimate is a little bit different, it's always a little bit later than this one, which is great because it means we start getting it here and then when we run out, we still have it coming in there. Okay, so I'm going to harvest a leaf from the rhubarb plant. Um, what you do is reach low down in the stalk. Pick a stalk you like the look of, ideally one from each little kind of sprouty thing in there, um, or less, and then hold it near the bottom, pull and twist, and it comes off quite easily. And then we just cut the leaf off and it's ready to go. Okay, I'm just gonna harvest this rhubarb. I'm gonna reach down, hold it at the bottom, twist and pull, and then it's free. Um, right, this rhubarb came from this patch here. Um, it's looking a little thin to me, as you might have seen when I cut it. I think it's because it's been really dry, it needs a bit more water. So we're probably going to give it a load more water and maybe rest it and use the other patch for a bit. So I'm going to cut the leaf off. <laughs> Alright, yay, a fantastic stalk of rhubarb. My absolute favourite things to do with rhubarb are make rhubarb crumble with lots and lots of nuts, brown sugar, oats and no flour in the crumble and loads and loads of butter and to make rhubarb cordial. There's lo loads of other things you can do with it but those are my personal favourites. And then I like to drink the rhubarb cordial straight with gin. It's amazing. <laughs> So we're in our second month of filming now at Fallis Veg. Um, this is probably the last day the ducks will be wandering through the garden because we've just put the spinach seedlings out and we'd like to keep them and then harvest the spinach later. Um, it's an exciting time because we've got seedlings that need to go out and hopefully next time we're filming in a few weeks we'll be doing some more planting out and the whole garden may look different all over again. <laughs> <laughs>